In this video, we're going to look at moving and copying sends. So I've got a mono send on a mono track set up here. So there should be no issue with moving that to another mono track. I simply drag it from one track to the other. Now, if I move that to a stereo track, I've now got a mono send on a stereo track. Again, no particular um, channel issue, except that the send window updates to show that the mono send is now on a stereo track. Let's move it back again. I can also copy sends by holding down the Option key. OK, so that will copy a send from one track to another. Let me remove that so I can show you something else. I'm going to set up a stereo send on a stereo track. OK, now I can move that from stereo track to stereo track with no particular issue. But if I was to move it or copy it to a mono track, then this is what happens. Keep an eye on those uh, panners. OK, the right hand side has been dropped. The left hand side has been retained. And that's important to remember for a couple of reasons. One is that the panner is now in the wrong place. So this needs centering, option click on it. And secondly, that any automation data that relates to the right hand side of that stereo send will have been dropped and removed. And only the left hand side data will be retained. 